The Sun called it the scoop of the decade and a world exclusive. Of course, I'm talking about Matt Hancock and his so-called affair. But can you imagine being a journalist and having this story way before it broke on that front page that you're seeing there, but not believing it? Well, that's what happened to one of my guests, Isabel. Uh, Isabel Erkshot joins me now. Um, you were past this story in advance of this Sun newspaper, wasn't you? What happened? Well, um, I've written about this in quite a lot of detail for this week's Spectator magazine. Um, I wasn't past the story, actually. I was past one small, grainy image. It was a still from the CCTV footage, what we now know as CCTV footage, about the size of a postage stamp. And the truth was, it just didn't look like Matt Hancock. I've known Matt Hancock for more than a decade. Uh, and the angle that the picture was taken at didn't show his face very well at all. Uh, he wasn't actually in a close embrace with uh, the lady we now know to be Gina. Um, and whilst the, uh, the position they were in looked a little compromising, uh, it was by no means case proven. So uh, I also had some concerns actually about the, uh, some extra um, images on that, um, on that picture. There appeared to be an extra hand in the image. So to me, it looked like it might have been doctored. So whilst I didn't dismiss it, uh, and I did suggest that my source, um, see if, if my source could get some more, um, my instinct was that this was not a, a genuine image. And I don't really make any apology for that. You know, it's only a fool that rushes in and immediately believes it. You've always got that little pang of disappointment. I mean, I want to break big stories. That's what I do. I've broken a lot of big stories in the past. And if I get a message saying I've got some compromising stuff on Matt Hancock, much as I, I like Matt Hancock as a, as a person, um, I'm all ears. Uh, but the reality was this didn't meet the threshold, the, the evidence that I had at that time.